Hand cut dovetails look great and it's very satisfying to see them sort of come together successfully. But a lot of folks are intimidated by the idea because they fear they're gonna screw up their project with a miscut or an overly loose joint. Even the best dovetailers though, screw up once in a while. And when they do, they don't discard their entire box or their drawer or a project part. They hide the error with a simple shim. The key is to find a scrap of wood that matches your dovetailed workpiece. Pay attention to the grain as well as the color. The goal is to make a shim that will be all but invisible. If you only have a small gap to fill, a tiny sliver of wood might be all you need. But this joint was very loose, so a larger shim was glued right to the side of the tail to make the tails wider and tighter again. I'm not trying to get a perfectly fitting shim, I just want to make the tail big again so that I can fine tune it back to the right size with chisels. Use some tape to hold the shim in place while the glue dries. This tail was once too narrow because it was a miscut. Now it's back to being extra wide again so I can fine tune it for that perfect fit with my chisel. I hope that knowing you can repair a poorly fitting joint will give you the confidence to try hand cut dovetails in your next project. If you'd like to see more dovetail related tutorials, both with hand and power tools, I'll put some links below this video. Enjoy. It's just a couple of cuts. Your ears will be fine, right? They would be if you had your Isotunes Bluetooth earbuds in because you'd already have your ANSI certified hearing protection on while you're listening to your favorite music and podcasts. And you'd be supporting a small family business at the same time. Please use the link below this video to learn more and to show them you support what we do as well. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up, or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nub's Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.